Bitch, I hope I don't lose no, um, <laughs> no, uh, what they call it, no service. Because, child, I'm gonna go through a stretch, but they ain't got no, uh, um, food. But they ain't got no fit, girl. All right. So this is the Sip Nation history, according to MC Shit, the president of Sip Nation. This is most fucking cool. Am I supposed to turn right here? That fuck up the world. Good morning. So this is the history of Sib Nation. How we started, what we did, why we do what we do, and where it come from. The mistakes we made, the successes we made, and our feelings. If you're a new stepper, If you're a new sipper, just stick around and pay attention because you'll know and you'll understand more about sip nation and shape. If you're an old sipper, um, then just sit back and enjoy the show, the story. As we remember. If I forget something, put it in there. Um, I will say this, to the new sippers, you may not know who these people are, but, um, but you'll pretty much know everybody else in the story. But there's a person named Tim Ward Buck who is a New Orleans bounce artist um, and businessman. And his baby's mother, her name is Trelly. Uh, she is, she sells bundles and hair stuff like that. Um, and they're both, uh, I would say IG, Instagram influencers in New Orleans. Both of them were really, uh, Instagram influencers and media, social media people in New Orleans, both of them. They have pretty much, both of them have pretty big platforms, to be honest with you, Trelly and Buck. Can't shake, can't shade them on that. That's who they are. And um, the other person you might not know is Tutu, who is Tutu Cheekies, which is this little, little lady out the um, out the twelve wall, and Twin, who are uh, Shanice and I forgot her sister name. Sh uh, the Twin, they're Twin. So I want you to know all of them people while we get into this. Who else is? Who else might be fundamental to the story? Oh, and Uptown. Uptown is a New Orleans is a New Orleans rapper, and also my grandchild. Um, that's Peg's dog. And Uptown is a um, a uh, it's a basically a lesbian. I, don't know. I was trying to say a stud. I don't know. Okay. So those are people you might not know, especially if you're like a stripper from somewhere. Else. You have no idea who those people are. But those are probably the only people. But you'll know Super and Julian and all of them. All right. All right. So, it started out when I first came home from prison. And I, one of, a, a friend of mine, now man, you was in prison for nine years. When I left, it was MySpace and YouTube. There was no ad, and YouTube was certainly not like it is now. The only people that was, um, so when I came home, there was this new thing to me, IG and Twitter. This, they had Facebook, but it wasn't nothing like, my space was the king without that. So when I came home, I'm sorry, it's a twist from 3 I'm sorry. So yeah, third, I, think so. I don't know, third. I wasn't like the word, but I don't know. All right, go. So, Blaze and Buster had took me to a, 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 one of my, I remember I told you I was going to psychology. So they took me to one of my psychology departments, bitch. And they showed me IG Live. And I think either uh, Nikki or somebody was live that day. And I'm going to it and this is real talk. I swear to go. I saw this then. Because I now keep in mind I had never saw it before. Never. MySpace they had that feature. YouTube didn't have that feature. Nobody had that feature. So my first time going live or going into somebody live was Nikki. And I'm like, whoa. 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 
this shit is amazing. This is amazing. You're directly connected to whoever you want to be connected to, whether they're big or not. And you can ask questions and they can pay attention or answer. And I had typed something. And it was like, I was amazed. They didn't, they didn't see my question, but it's like, oh my God. And it was going to different people's lives. I'm like, wow. They was laughing at me because they was like, because I was truly amazed. I've never seen that like that before. It was amazing to me, the functionality of it. I was like, this is genius. I wish I would've thought of it. This is gonna change everything. This is gonna change everything. And so, so Buster and Blizz are laughing at me because whatever, whatever. they said, you can go live too. I said, for real? And so my first time going live was from the impact page. Blizz had an impact page. So we went live from the impact page. And people was like, I remember you. Hey, and that's all. Shake it up, what you doing at home? Like, and I'm like, oh my fucking God. This shit is crazy. I say, I love this. I fell in love that day. All right. So, a couple of days later, I get my phone, my first phone. And I download Instagram. Right? So I try to register my name, MC Shaker. But MC Shaker is taken by some woman who don't really use the page no more. It's some woman in Afghanistan, some fucking woman. She got a hijab and cone on the page. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> it's like, I done wrote Instagram and everything about this. Like, could I please have my name? She doesn't even use the page, man. This is my name. My name is really MC Shaker. Look. And she got 3,000 followers. Probably all of them. She got corn on the Look, this is MC Shaker. Look at that. What the hell do you want this way? She has not posted since 2014. Six years ago. I wrote Instagram, I wrote her, could I please get this page? Right there. Yeah, this uh, is it's going on YouTube. All right. So, So mind you, I can't get MC Shake, right? <laughs> so I um, uh -huh, I can't get MC Shake. So Blazer was like, just put a word behind it, like MC Shake here, MC Shake back, something like that. MC Shake five hundred four, something like that. I was like, no. Probably looks six years old, okay? I was like, no. I was like, I'm gonna be going live. So it needs to be MC Shake live. That's what it needs to be. Because I was so enamored with the live feature. I didn't even want Instagram for the post. I didn't want Instagram for <laughs> the stories. I just want to go live. I want to be on people live and go live. I thought that was so amazing. I was so amazed. I was so entertained by that. So no other name could be but MC Shake live. And that I don't good. So that's how I got him to check it out. Alright? Now As I got MC, so that's why I got MC live. And I started going live. I started going live. And then first, it was a minute people, of course, you know, nobody know, nobody knew me or remember who I was. But the people that did, they'll come fuck with me. So um we used to be going live, and I be used to be, you know, I used to be just talking about stuff. Like I'm doing now, 
this is just exactly what I'm doing now. Exactly what I'm doing now. I just talk about stuff, see what's going on in the world, what's going on in New Orleans, what's going on in different places. But I was consistent with it because I like doing it. It was I, I'm an MC. I like to talk. <laughs> That's what I like to do. And so I'm just and I'm witnessing the power of social media. It's like crazy, 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 crazy. Your boy, just put you on the beach here. Oh, um, okay. You got both. And so I just would start going on there talking about different topics, different stuff, bounce music, what's going on local New Orleans, stuff like that. I was just talking, right? And so eventually. Because I was so consistent with it, more and more people started coming. Right? It wasn't that much, but it was, you know, the people in bounce music, they knew me, and I could hop on live and jump on live with a few people, and they'll let me in their live and stuff like that. Right? So that's how I started getting a little buzz, a little notoriety. Um, I'm going to say my daughters, Dino you know, and Bionnie, a lot of times I go live with them, they'll put me on. A lot of people see who I was and remember who I was and stuff like that. But then it changed. But because of that, I think my next level became Trelly. So one day, Trelly, I'm on live. And Trelly came in alive and went live with me. And we was just joking and Mr. Ryan was still going to go to the studio and do a song. And why I'm not doing it? But I was like, you know what, Trelly? I don't, I did not, I knew Buck before as, you know, Timbo Buck. But I was like, let me do something crazy. I said, let me, um, I said, come by my live. I want just, we're going to talk about what's going on. I was, I was like, we're going to make it like a little special stuff. She was like, I guess, whatever. And so she came to live and I interviewed her about Buck. Now, mind you, Buck and Trelly in New Orleans is like, they always kept up going on. They always, always, always had something going on. And so they, it just so happened that the day we wanted to, it was, it, it, there was something going on. Um, so, Trey let me interview her. And before that, I might have had about, at the most, any given time, about 50 people. That's the most. That's the most I ever had before that time. Um, but that day, it went over a thousand people. And buku buku people started following, and I never forget that. And that's when my was my first interview with Trilla and Buck out on the interview. So when Buck had hit me up, I was like, man, who, what's going on? Blah blah. Now he remembered me from bounce, but he didn't even knew I was back and stuff. And he hit me up. Now, I, me and Buster one time went out with Trilla, and Trilla got in a fight with Guala at the vibe, and that's the that's the that's the first time. Buck called me was to take the video down. And I was like, well, if you want me to take the video down, uh, you give me an interview. Like, you give me the control side of some of the things. And so, Buck being a cloud chaser and me being a, you know, no shade. Me being a cloud chaser too, I'm a cloud chaser too, so I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Um, he was like, he, he would love the chance to be interviewed. And so, that's what started our relationship. Um, when I first met him to interview, it was, it was, it, it was the first, my first live, my first big live was with Trent. No shame. I got to give credit what could do. My next big live was with Buck. Buck. So the trade for Buck, for me, deleting the video about Trelly and Guala fight, Buck gave me an interview. And so, no shade. It was so much chemistry. Now, our first look live, who won the fight? Uh, she's inside Trelly. No shade to Guala. Guala's in the, Guala, but God, I think Guala won't hurt Trelly because of course, you know, Wild and Trelly used to mess. And so that was the problem. Wild is a big picture. Could have. I, I ain't gonna. And not sitting on Trelly, sleeping on Trelly. Miss Trelly got a little scuffle and a little hard with her. No shame. But I don't know if you really mess with Wild. I think Wild is gonna go Could 
So initially, me and Buck had some wonderful chemistry. It was so, it was just naturally funny. The people was engaged. He was laughing, I was laughing. I throw a little shade. He will throw a little slick side slang. It was a key. It was a good key. No shade. Which led us to wanting to work with each other. That's what it was. It was a good chemistry. The people was engaged. Everybody was like, it was like, like literally the whole New Orleans to be on our life. But this was the thing. Him and Trevor was doing that back and forth shit. This was, and this is where it started at. And so, while I would never give Trelly a, um, I never, like, I say Trelly, Tre I got to give Trelly a process. The first person that interviewed me big, that, well, well not big, but you know, it was a big interview for me. Um, but also, it was like, I still, but when Buck get married with Trelly, it'll be like, I'm slick side in the middle. Um, so, what happened after that? So, uh, Trelly get married with me. And so me and Trelly be for a little while and whatnot. But no shade to Trelly. Trelly started it, but Buck took it and carried it. So, no shade, I'm telling y'all the truth. Buck was the first person to tell me do it consistently. Like on a daily basis, like at a certain time. So we used to do T at 3, if y'all remember that. We had T at 3 every day. Monday through Friday, we T at 3. Whatever's going on in the city, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so they have other people. Now, there's some other people that was involved in there. BJ and Curl and other people. There's different, like, people that that was stuff. But, you know, these you know the biggest stories in the city. All right, so Buck was trying to get over trying to still sing. So here come Twin. Now, Twin is Buck messing with Twin, allegedly. Um, and so I'm breaking that story. You know, I had people. You know, at the time, I started building up my repertoire. I started getting my people in line. People get see their sliders across my desk, shit like that. Um, in the middle of a lot of stuff. Bucks don't mess with Twin. Allegedly. Um, twin, this is where we get that thing from there. From the children. Because Twin was beefing with Tutu. They used to be friends, they started beefing. And so, both of them have children and Twin was starting to talk about two two children and I didn't like that. And so that's that's kind of like was that was. That didn't go good. And so interviewing Twin one time, then they had something happen one time where two two went to Twin to, to Twin House. Twin came outside shooting. She came, she she came on my live blaming me for I was at work, bitch. I'll never forget. And blaming me for me, her start beefing. I said, I don't really like you anyway because you talk about me two germs for Um and me and Twin start beefing. She was like, you a messy punk and all this other stuff like that. Alright. So <laughs> Trelly and Twin had a fight. That was another thing that happened. It was all kind of messy. And I was in the middle of it. Right? <laughs> and so um, what changed that was Uptown. So Trelly started messing with Uptown, and that was a whole nother thing for another story. Now Buck, Buck is, let me say something. Buck is the type of person, Buck, 
he not gay, but he he got some crazy ways. But <laughs> let me say about this bitch, bro. He got a fold on everybody that he think he might ever get into it with. I know he police reported ahead. Thank you. And bitch, so whenever it's time to Joseph Jones off him, we put out his folder and go in. And it's not pretty for whoever he be for. You know, Buff be afraid a lot. But then Buff was beautiful for Uptown. And I never forget this bitch. And he'll go in and say something about Uptown, blah, blah, blah. Uptown had had enough, bitch. Because Uptown is a trailer. And so Uptown, bitch, had them niggas from the table hall that she fucked with with some guns waiting for a buck outside of Har Harris. And I was like, oh, bitch, this shit getting real. You heard me? Now, Police reported now that day that happened, I was on a live with Uptown. Right? So I'm on a live with Uptown. That's when Super Saint came in. It had thousands and thousands of people on the line. Girl, thousands. And so I guess people were sharing a live or something. It was a big old thing. Uptown was going to try to do book stuff. And Super Saint came alive. And so I, we asked Kid Kid and Cackle, she laughing and she did. We know she don't like Buck anyway. Um, she don't like Buck. Don't like them. They don't like each other. I don't know why? I really don't know. I never really heard the true story behind, behind it. But uh, I think they did used to be cool. But I don't know. I was in jail, so I really don't know. I couldn't tell you why they don't like each other or whatever the case may be. But Super Saints don't really like Buck. And Uptown going in on Buck. And it's all kind of stuff. So I guess she called herself being messy that day or entertaining the mess that day. But she started following me. And I started following her back. So truth be told, when she started following me or whatever, whatever, and she'll pop in the live every once in a while, she'll pop her head in the live. It wasn't meant much, but she'll pop in every now and then. And so I hit up and I was like, um, I'd like to interview. You know? I'd like to interview. So I said, hey, this hey, this hey. And so that was she was like, okay, yeah, we'll, you know, set it up, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. We'll try to set it up. No no tea, no shame. Um, we wind up never setting it up. Um, so <laughs> this what happened. Me and Buck start beefing. I put Buck CD on. Buck CD, hey, Buck got a CD come out. And I put it on um, on iTunes and stuff on. You heard me? And so he was like, cool, I like whatever, whatever. And so I got mad with him. Watch I took out. That, Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. I got mad with him and took that bitch down. What did he do besides be your friend? Oh, Buck? Oh, I'm going to tell you why I got into it with Buck. Because Buck did a show with Peaches, and I didn't want him to do it. I didn't, I, I, like, it's like you can't, like, I, the lane that I'm building and crafting is, is, is the lane for homosexual in this industry for me. And no shade, but Peaches would have been competition. Peaches is who you used to do this with. And so it's like, you know, it's like we can't, how we doing our branding and our show and all this stuff like that, we can't do that with Peaches. That's my thought. And plus, people was telling me a lot of bad stuff about Peaches. I didn't know Peaches at the time like that. So, I was, I, my mind was already made up about Peaches before I got the know him. Now, maybe that's wrong or whatever, whatever. But at the same time, that's, I'm just telling you what happened. And I'm not saying nothing bad about Book or nobody. I'm not saying nothing bad about nobody. I'm just telling you what the fuck happened. This is just, we just, we just talk about what's happened. So, so, by me and Buck, so Super got introduced to me through me and Buck B. And so, so, I said, who are you talking to, baby? Who are you, who, who is this person? Because you might have to go, sister. You get on my nerve. I ain't lying to you. You get on my nerve, sister. Who are you?
So anyway, so that's how that's how really Super got re reintroduced to me. Now she said she remembers me from my days of MC or whatever, whatever. But I didn't know her, of course, at the time, and I got hip to her when I came home, of course. Um, so this is what happened. So I put Buck CD up. I took it down like a week later. He was like, oh, shit, it'll be all kind of money for my CD. So I put it up on live for how much he actually made, and it was $6.21, right? And so, it's story time, sister, what you want? What's up, baby? You want to add something to the story, or what? That's something I'm missing. What's up? If you're coming for attention, sister, it's going to be, hello? 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 Can you, hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. I'm a big fan of you. <laughs> what? I'm a big fan of you. I'm here fast. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes, but I'm here fast, sister. You you don't hear me? No, I say what? I don't have fans. I don't have fans. Oh. I have, my fans, oh my. Are, my fans are like Jag Evermore is a fan and uh yeah. Fly Nigga is a fan and uh who else I don't like right now? <laughs> the bitches oh, that are I'm, I'm bitches. sorry, my, my my sound quality is not good. You know? Huh? You what? My sound quality is not so good. Okay, come back when you get your phone time, time I'm telling the story right now, baby. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. All right. Yeah, my fans are going to like So check this out. So Buck made $6.21 on his CD while it was up. It's only up a week. They don't pay you but six cents for a thousand streams. What you thought he was They don't mean you didn't do good. You got to leave it up one more time. But I took that bit down and said, fuck it. Um, so Buck. So I just simple. Oh, hold on, hold on. During the midst of all this, my lives are popping, tier three popping, everything popping. And so the strippers said we need a name for us before we before there was strippers out. And they said we need a name for us. It was tier three was the show. So we were thinking of all kinds of stuff to name ourselves. It was like we need a name. I was like, all right, come on. And so we had one we had one episode where we came up with the name about what it was. And it was like, when well, we sip tea, we should be the strippers. I like that makes sense. Because at three, we sip tea. Right? So it made sense. All right. So that's how Sippers, the name Sippers came from. It was on a live one day at a tier three. And somebody in the comments said, we need a name for us. And we figured it would have been um, And that's where the Sippers came from. Sip Nation came because I couldn't copyright Sippers. I couldn't trademark Sippers. Excuse me. I trademarked Sip Nation, but not Sippers because it's a word you couldn't. It wasn't possible to trade money for some whatever reason. Uh, I forgot what the reason is, but I think it's just too common. But uh, we didn't we didn't trade about stipper stip first. We did trade about stip nation. All right. So, uh, folks used to get mad too. Like stipper 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 stipper. All in the stippers, the stippers, because the stippers used to tear his ass up. Who the stippers can stand? <laughs> All right. So there's other people in the store that tap out nigga. Trailer nigga had a fight. It was all kind of other stuff going on too. Um, so because Buck, I owe Buck six dollars and twenty one cents. I say, listen, I'm about to do a promo special for six dollars and twenty one cents. I will promote your business on my page for six dollars and twenty one cents, so I can pay Buck back his money. And for that promo special, I might have made six hundred and twenty one dollars. So, I, so I paid Buck back at six dollars. I, I cashed that for six dollars and twenty one cents. <laughs> Being petty, and then that was it. Um, but Super Saint took advantage. Well, the crayon case took advantage. They had the chalk powder foundation. Was no shade. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. 
I'm always keep it real. I, I always keep it real. They sent me sixty dollars, but you know she paid it. She ain't like fuck. And knowing that the promo special was because was shooting a shot at Buck, um, the crayon case page sent me like a, um, sent me sixty dollars to do the promo for the chalk foundation or whatever it was. They had chalk best or some shit they had at the time. All right, so that was it. I had no issue with this girl at first. I really did. Not really. This is where the issue came. Somebody in the comments one day, with a live, 900 people something alive, and somebody in the comments one day said, I'm pregnant for, um, I'm, I'm pregnant for Lou, and she owe me money, a burn page, right? <laughs> so a burn page, and so everybody was like, who you is, whatever, whatever. And so we're trying to get on, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. And I'm like, what's the, what's, what's the thing? She's like, I'm pregnant for Lou, and they're supposed to, pay, I was pregnant for Lou, and they were supposed to pay me this, and they ain't paying me this, and I want my money, blah, 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 blah. But it was a burner account. Right. Hey, okay, what's going on? Good morning, friend, all this good stuff. So. Welcome. I was just giving a little history, but if they sent you the live being messy, and nobody being messy, which I'm just giving a history of how Sip Nation got started. And of course, if, you know, I talked about how I started going live with Trelly, then I got live with you. And it's six dollars and twenty-one cents. That's all it is. It's a history lesson for the new simples. That's all it is. So, and Super Sam. So Super and like Buck. So they paid me six dollars to promote the chalk pile. So I promote the chalk pile. Oh. Uh -huh. So what happened at that? So I had no issue with that girl. Yeah, they said Buck the live. I know where it did. But I'm just. But what the fuck? So anybody in here could tell you we just giving the history of what happened. Or oh, whatever happened. Between us. Or oh, whatever. I started out we really passed your part of the story, but to be honest. No shame. I, I, you really don't have much else to get into this, to be honest with you. Like everything else is kinda like talk about shame. Oh girl, leave shame alone. Well, that, that was another that was another thing. There was a big burn page called Shame. And <laughs> I will know that. I will know that. I forgot about, about Shane. Shane was another thing. Shane invented Burn Pages, bitch. Shane invented Burn Pages, bitch. But I tell you, <laughs> that was the Burn Page, bitch. And that whole, it had the whole city heated, bitch. So, that whole had the whole city heated, bitch. The whole want to kill Shane. Everybody, everybody, that whole had no cut, no filter, bitch. That whole had none. Bitch, that whole was, it, no, which I think, bitch, I mean, I think Shane, it was happy to expose him because it was like, he could breathe now. I didn't think he liked being Shane after a while. After a while, it just got too monotonous for him. It just got too, like, it just got too much. What's up, not Tony Braxton? Bitch, that whole hit Shane, I want to kill Shane at one time. Bitch, I was all right with Shane for the most part. Me and Shane had an all right kind of love-hate type of thing. I didn't have no issue with Shane because I knew what his value at entertainment. He was very entertaining. I went live with Shane many times for hours, laughing my ass off at this stupid bitch. I, 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 I recognized and appreciated the entertainment value. I used to hate the bitch sometimes when <laughs> you get on my ass. But um, for the most part, I had no, I had no, I had no problem with Shane. I didn't. Yeah, nut, nut, did crack that, nut, crack that code, bitch. So, um, that was a whole other thing. Y'all can go look that up. That is on YouTube. The Shane stuff is on YouTube. Um, but, so, so, so after that, the bird page came in a lie. It was like, oh, bitch, I blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So me, you know, I'm messy. No lie, that's what I did. Bitch, I screenshotted the burn page because I was like, well, you can't say that unless you have some proof. The burn was like, I got my proof. I got my proof. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So, this is what happened. Next thing you know, my page, Super had blocked my page. Oh, just for, oh, for, no, no. I ain't hit her up. And I said, listen, because people were sending a lot. Okay, this is what happened. Hold on, I'll say that. People were sending her a lot. 
she must have came in on her birth page because I didn't see her page come in. You know, she had a check mark. So if I, if she come in, you're going to see the page. Well, maybe not, but they had a hundred, they had a lot of people on the live. I don't know, but I didn't know her. she was in the live. But in the live, I was like, well, if you ain't got no proof, you ain't got no proof. So she screenshotted the part of the live that the person was saying that, and she had posted on her stories like, I would not all have my number paid for nobody abortion. Okay? That's what she said. I wouldn't even pay for no nigga abortion. That's not, I wouldn't even do that. That's what she posted, but she screenshot the part that was in the live, the comment that the thing was saying, but she scratched out the name. So I hit her up, I'm like, listen, I, either they sent you the live or somebody screenshot you, I don't know how it is, or you might have came in, but, you know, I took, like, I, there's no evidence of that. I really changed the subject. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the time, we were still talking about doing an interview, and plus, there was people that was paying me to promote their product, and I didn't want to lose the business, and I did want to do the interview. I did. I wanted to do the interview. I like, pe I like successful people. And, like, you know, Shay, and, and from what I understood at the time, she was really successful. I'm just being real. This is me being real as a human. So we used to have the thing, no receipts, no teeth. And so this would happen. And so she thanked me for that. She said, I appreciate you. I saw, you know, like, you know, she basically let me know, okay, good, you you straight, go trip. All right. So there was also a little mess at the time. People were saying Stun of Baby was for me. Natural. Really natural. Then there was some mess at the time with Dina Marie saying she used to mess with Super. So Super used to be a little topic on my page. But I would never really entertain that like that off a of general purpose because strategically business-wise, it made sense for me because of who, like, of, of what the sippers were becoming. You know what I'm saying? So I never really delved into that. Um, I did go live with some stunner one time and she did, conf she confirmed and said her baby wasn't full. Then, um, Dina Marie used to come live, but she was beefing with Jazz and the model. But Jazz was the one saying, oh, bitch, that's why you were eating super pussy, living on super food, super, you fuck Lou, this all kind of stuff. All right. So understand that. Now, all of a sudden, so Super ended up blocking or unfollowing me. I think she unfollowed me first. She unfollowed me before she blocked me. She unfollowed me before she blocked me. You know, I had to have to tell you that. So I unfollowed her. No shit. You know what it is? <laughs> Uh -huh. I don't care what it is. So now I figured, okay, well, let's let the topics roll. The mess gonna roll accordingly. And so every now and then when they somebody when she became a topic of discussion, she became a topic of discussion. It was no shade, it was just the topic of discussion. Her name was mentioned, but not in that past. All right. Then it started being this. Every single time she would get mentioned, my page get deleted. Every single time. Every single time. And I had to go through hell and high water, pay somebody, to get my page back, yada, yada, yada. This happened like two times. And then the third time, it was enough. It was enough for me. And so, this is what I did. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Now, this is part of the messy part. This is the only part that I should, probably should have did on a part that was for sure shaking it was messy right here. Was this. I, um, I, um, the, the burn page, I screenshot the burn page myself and went back and asked him, okay, so what's the proof you had? And so the girl told me the story, as y'all know very well, about Lou cheating with her, getting her pregnant, and paying for the abortion. She said she had the paperwork. She said she had the paperwork and everything. So I went and interviewed the girl. She didn't let me put her on camera, but she let me put the paperwork on camera. That's what she did. No shame. Um... I protect my sources, but this is what happened. I didn't do nothing with it. I just was sitting on it, bitch. I was sitting on it for like months, bitch. Because when that shit happened, that was like, bitch. <laughs> that was like, bitch. Maybe <laughs> that was the summer during that when I interviewed the girl. But really, it was like August, bitch, when the story broke. When my page got, my page got took again. This why my page got took. Dion wrote a book. Dion used to mess with Julie. Dion in the book, in the book, Dion say Dion talks about messing with Julie. She called another name, but she talks about messing with Julie in the book. So 
So Z.I. was in a book. Z.I. wrote the book. So Z.I. was going to different people to promote the book. One of the people she went to was through Dean Bell. So Dean talked about the book. Next thing you know, Dean page gets deleted. So Dean come to my page and tell me what happened. I said, well, bitch, we're going to look into it. Now, during this time, it's when she, so okay, one time, so one time I was live during all this time. That's when it was in 2018. So she kind of came on my live one time because it was trending. It used to be popping on my live. So she came in there one time and that's how we met. It was her and Tiny that was eating. And so that's how my, me and my sister went, met. I have to explain that too because this is what matters next. So I tell Dean Bell, I was like, well, baby, don't worry about it. I'm going to tell you, tell you who my dude is and you're going to get your page back. And then we're going to expose the whole thing about them. And so, soon as I said that, the next day my page was down, gone for the last time. So, Shekinah helped. So I, got, so, I had a backup page. But it was like my third time getting my page deleted, y'all. And I was so evil for this. And so she, I saw I had my backup page, but she kind of was like, look, I'm going to help y'all. Go trip. And so she called another dude, uh, to do OG. He was like, I'm going to get your page back. And so that's how I get my page back that time. And I appreciate her for that. And that been my sister ever since. Because she didn't have to do that, number one. Number two, um, so number one, she didn't have to do that. But number two, the bitches, like, they kept trying to, they kept getting us. They kept getting us. Um, she, I think she got Dean Bell page back too. But uh, she helped get the, the Dean Bell page back too, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. But this will happen. So I went live and exposed the information I had been sitting on for ages. <laughs> like, all right, you gonna play, keep getting my fucking page deleted, bitches? I was like, and, and I had the mindset then. I was like, I'm gonna get every last one of you bitches one by one. But I'm gonna start with Super, then I'm gonna go to Judy, and then my mindset was to just get all of them one by motherfucking one. But okay, let me say, I'm gonna tell you why that didn't happen because the hit dog gonna holler. A hit dog gonna holler all the time. Because I know it was you motherfuckers getting my pants deleted because I was, because you didn't like whatever, whatever. Now, in the case of Super, I had a lot more information because the hoes was coming to them. Nobody gave a fuck about Judy. Judy was so irrelevant. So the information that I had about her was like just the, the shit about her and the dyke in and stuff like that. It wasn't really no tea as of yet. I didn't get tea on Judy until later, to be honest with you. But I had some tea, but not no tea that was like damage and damage. But I had some. But I was going to get them bitches one by one. But I'm going to start with Super because I had the most information on her. Because... The bitch, I have a, and I had text messages, but she was texting Dina Marie, and she was texting Dina Marie, telling her, you on that messy punk live all fucking day, just being messy, blah, 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 that's why your name and my name keep coming up in that shit, blah, 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 blah. She going back and tell Stunner all kind of stuff, talking about she should go live with me and stuff like that. Why would you tell this girl that? We respect Stunner, we like Stunner over here. Well, Stunner, and Stunner don't, and she thinking Stunner telling me all her business, but it was the truth. Stunner, Stunner only came on the live, put her little laughing faces like everybody else, and left. Stunner never even said nothing. The only time Stunner went live was one time and said, bitch, my, and she clarified that her baby was a balloon. That's all she ever, that's the only time she ever went live with me. Stunner used to be in the comments, laughing and kicking like everybody else, and then keep it pushing. Dina Marie, the only time her name came up was because Jazzy was reading her saying, oh, Dina Marie ain't even bring this girl name up. She always get mad at the wrong fucking people. Dina Marie didn't bring Super name up. In, in fact, Dina Marie's been a friend of her by by, by saying, no, bitch, that's not true. Dina Marie defended her. If anything, I would have defended that bitch. But anyway, okay, Dina Marie was to defend her, if anything. So she texted Dina Marie, you in the room with that message, punk, all kind of message shit, blah, blah, blah. You my friend, just that and the other. And I got the text message. And then she going around back and telling Stella, don't go live with him, don't be in his live, trying to blah, 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 blah. Your messy phone, this, that, and the other. And Stella, like, bitch, I'm going to get a kick in and cackle like everybody else. What you want me to watch you? What you want me to do? Watch you put all that fucking. Uh, put this motherfucking, put them, put this motherfucking, uh, put this motherfucking, <laughs> put this motherfucking cancer, this cancer powder on my fucking face that you got. Well, but watch you do that all day. The fuck, shake it, entertain it, bitch. And I knew my boy Candace to entertain it. But she was blaming them 
Like they had something to do with what people were saying in the comments and you becoming a topic. No, sister. Lou is the blame. Lou is the blame. If Lou, listen, if Lou don't kill you, they don't have no ammunition. Nobody can talk about nothing. You're mad with Lou. Why are you mad with everybody else? You're mad with Lou. The police right in front of you, you know. You may have a loose sister. You may have a shaking, you may have a stutter, you may have a Dina Marie. Girl, you may have a loose. <laughs> so, bitch, I exposed it. It is what it is. I got mad. My pants keep getting deleted. My sister, my sister, Shekinah, who barely know me, have to get my page from underneath. What the fuck? Now I shouldn't go like that. She shouldn't have to expect. I uh, thank her for doing that, but you know, that's like you fucking with me more than people from my city fucking with me. That's what I'm doing. So, look. All right. So, I exposed it. Which is the infamous video. It's on YouTube. Of me telling the whole story. Use the right three lanes to exit right to exit zero. About right and west Mississippi. Lucci. Now, back then, I was wrong. I'm obsessed. I'm trying to break up their happy home. This is who I was. I was painted out to be a liar, a cheater, a scammer, a forger, even though, obviously, I turned out to be a thousand percent right. And so, look. So, this is what happened. So, that's what started the issue. The next thing you know, she threatened my life. I'm gonna do you like I'm gonna do you like the Maya. I'm gonna be watching power when them goons gonna come and get you. That's what she said. That's what she had happened. <laughs> this was the bitch. Exit right to exit zero. Ah! Ten west. Ah! Ah! Who was looking at my god? Jump get my page up because you didn't like my content or whatever. But I'm so glad that it happened like that because it allowed me to see the real bitches that these old days for real. And I'm so glad I saw that. I know. I, you know what? I would. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be nowhere in the vicinity. These people are some hateful. Dirty, lying. That's so. It, it's like I, it's just like you can't. I can't live that fake. I could. I couldn't do it. I can't live that fake. And I'm so glad. I got to respect Buck because no matter what Buck did, you know me and him got it on our issue many times. But he always was really just Buck. That's just Buck. You see what you get when you come to me. You really get shaken. This is just really why. There's no pretense. There's no. Aside, this is just really it. What you see is what you get. So I hit a day zone. In my back. In my back. Y'all can hear me see me? Is it back? Is it back? What y'all what y'all miss? What you miss? What's the last thing y'all heard? What's the last thing y'all heard? What's the last thing you heard? Okay, gotcha. What's the last thing y'all heard? All I'm saying is stuff. <laughs> We're everything. Okay, good. All right. So, so with, yeah, I can't be fake. 
But everything I ever thought about these people just show how fake, phony, and foolish they are. Every single thing about the people is so fake and phony and foolish, it's scary. It's scary. It's scary how fake that is. How you can live like that? How do you live every day having to put on, having to, like, I get you want to act or whatever, but how you live with yourself every day having to be something that you know you're not? How do you do that? How do you feel at the end of the day? What happened with Lou? I mean, <laughs> you, you don't know? I said, what happened with Lou? What happened with Lou? <laughs> Lou, they broke up, right? They broke, they broke up, right? Oh, they said they got broke up? They probably did. They probably get back together. So look, so once she threatened my life and disrespected mess in my head, that didn't sit right with me at all. And so for the longest up until recently, I was like, bitch, you, bitch every time you breathe, I'm going to air you out. Every time you fight the wrong way, I'm going to air you out. You will feel. And, and when I feel like it is, it's like when I won't go in on it, it's over. Girl, I go in. I go hard when I want to go in. Oh, child. I was looking at some of them old videos when I aired that girl out. It was like, girl, this don't make no sense, girl. Oh, child. I was like, bitch, every time I see you do something, I'm going to say, WWMD, what would Maya do? What would Koo do? What would he do to her? And I try to do the damage of what Koo would have done. I swear to God. So, um, like, she really made an enemy forever. Like, you made an enemy forever. I can see you not fucking with a bitch. But that just was too much. And I, I did publicly ask her to apologize to the family of Messi Maya. Now, I have talked to the family. The older family have kind of washed their hands with it. But the younger, his younger cousins and stuff, I don't know how they feel. Right, right about now, the last time I talked to them, they wanted her hate. So, um, you know, I just didn't like that she used him to tell me something. That was hard. If you want something, tell me, bitch. I'm the one doing it to you. The disrespect, the memory of Koo. And that Koo ain't got nothing to do with this here. This me, this shaking. This MC shaking doing this to you. So you disrespecting the memory of Koo. And that's not even what happened. By using me, using that as an analogy, that was fucked up in my mind. And so... That's why another reason that I never, bitch, I never, girl, I have. I thought I never, but I grew up real fast. I'm getting too old for it. So, and I realized that's what the fucking bitch wanted. All she needed was somebody to keep her ass relevant. And I did that for her, for the longest. I did that for her for the longest. That's the only thing she was missing. Let me say something. The only thing she ever missed was somebody to keep her consistently relevant. And I did that. And I and I, I can't keep doing that for her. I'm not doing that for her. I'm not getting paid. The fuck? I'm keeping you relevant as fuck. Nobody checking for you. Nobody checking for you. Even when you motherfucking get posted to the shade room, they using my stories. The fuck? All you need is somebody to keep you relevant. Nope. Nope, I'm not going to do it. So that was a reason why I decided I don't talk about her in that way. Anymore. She go ahead on. I'm t This is the history. What I'm telling you now is nothing new. I don't have no new tea about her. I don't know what she's doing in her life. I don't care what she's doing in her life. Whatever she's doing, if she broke up, if she's back together, whatever it is, that's all her. That's all her and her people. I don't know. This is not a discussion about what she doing. This was a discussion about what happened already in the past. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. She, go ahead. I hope she's somewhere living her best life. I hope she's living the best life. I hope she's getting all the dick in China, bitch. Or uh, getting all the motherfucking whatever she want to have. You hear me? That's what I do. This is not that. This is not that. This is not, this is not that. Just not that discussion. Okay? Understand that. 
So, all right, on to the next story. So, with the super situation, it's basically, now, now a lot of y'all, now, if y'all didn't know me from the Trillion Book fiasco, a lot of y'all found out about me through that. That was a big thing. Um, but we had bigger stuff to do yet. Um, so this is what happened. Um, so I'm continually blogging about different stuff and whatever, whatever. And this is what happened. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm just, this is the history of stipulation. And this is why I do not blog about Tokyo. If just, I do not, I would not blog about Tokyo. Badly. I would not blog about Tokyo badly. I don't like her friend, but I have a respect for her. And I'm gonna tell you why I have a respect. And it's it's I don't I don't you know I know her friends is her friends, it is what it is. Now we're not gonna be me and Tokyo not gonna go <laughs> kick marbles or nothing. We'll never hang or anything like that because she's loyal to her friends, of course. But I posted one story about Tokyo one time. And she herself um, slid in my DM, contacted me, and told me in regards to what it was going on, and very respectfully, and uh, said that look, the people that this story is concerning are looking for attention. And she was like, "Shake, I'm not trying to um, just re very respectfully." I swear to God, and I respected this so much, and I, I she would have my respect for this, but um. She uh, basically said the people that she was going is looking for attention, they're looking for a clout, this, that, and the other. She was like, nobody, no other blog will ever pick this up unless you post it to your page and that's gonna give exactly what they want. And she was like, I, you know, you can post it if you want, I didn't say you're not doing it, but just know that this ain't even accurate, but it's just like, this is what was going on. And she told me the truth about what happened and requested that I don't post it, don't, that I take it down. And forever since then, I don't post about her because I respected how she came in. Very respectful. And I, I don't have no, nothing bad to say about this woman. I don't. Despite she has a bad choice of friends. Other than that, she got, I got no people. I got no issues with her. And I don't have nothing with her. She got nothing to mix about my knowledge. She, um, there was another story that kind of came up thing. I hit her, I hit her best this time. I said, look what this girl's saying. And she explained to me, and she looked into it, or whatever she did, but I put her on. And that, and that's what was up. I, she, she, so that was the first of their click that respected me as a blogger. She was like, people not going to pick it up unless you post it, because they do look at your page to blog. And I, and I, for that, I got to give her respect, and I don't post about her. So if she have a story, you, and so not, and somebody even say, I, you people with Tokyo, you jealous of Tokyo. I, I said, I've never posted a story about Tokyo. And the one post that, that I did post about her was uh, not even on that level. I never posted a negative story about her, i say that. But it was one, and it was took down in weather in two, less than two seconds. And she came to be very, very grown. Very grown. And, 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 and I, she respected me as a real block. And I respected that. And so I, for that, she ain't got to worry about being posted. Whatever she got going on, somebody else got to post Because I ain't posted. I'm not going to do it. And I was like, how do you even associate with these people and you have such a different mentality? She didn't come like, and, and, I, and I swear to God, it wasn't like, I don't know, some scary shit or nothing. She was like, you can post it if you want to, I don't care. But I'm just like, you know, this is what it really is and this is what's going on. So I'm not saying like that. I want y'all to understand that very clearly. She wasn't like, oh, bitch, oh, please don't post it. She didn't never say that. It wasn't even like that. She was like, you can post it if you want to. I ain't tripping. But this is really what's happening and these people here just looking for clout. This really was happening. And I got to respect them. Who taking somebody in there? Who taking somebody? Don't be taking nobody in here. All right. So that happened. All right. So I'm starting to blog and blog and I'm blogging. I'm doing different stuff, yada, yada, yada. 
and I'll soup whenever I felt like it. Oh, uh, whenever I was reminded of the shit she did, and her out. If she did something, I air her out. Not even thinking that I'm making her more relevant. Tripping. And so this is what happened. Lil James Mom. My friend, my cat, we call her Muffin. She hit me up. And she was like, shaky. I don't know what's going on, but I got to tell you a story about this situation I done got my son in. And she explained to me that she felt that Judy not only entrapped her son by lying to her, but used her son to sucker other kids and their parents into promoting her products for free. She explained to me she was contrite and that she was real... Um, Sorry that she that she played a part in allowing Judy to do this to not only her son but other people's children as well. I ain't blocking. You still being this. Yeah, I worry about them all day. Now what? You worry about me. Worry about them. So who, who, who better? And I don't worry about them all day. We talk about the history of Slip Nation, and we talk about stories that happen. Just first of all, this is my first time on. I, first of all, bitch, this is my first time on. No, I want this bitch to stay here. I want this bitch to say hear everything the fuck I'm saying. I'm not blocking him. Stay your stupid ass up in here. First of all, bitch, this is my first time on IG in a long time. Secondly, I'm only telling you a history. All the shit I'm saying is known all fucking ready. Bitch, ain't nobody worry about them. In fact, I make a point not to worry about them. You have not seen me talk, blog, or post about them people in motherfucking months. So, bitch, eat my dick and die. Because you probably is them bitches. You can't say... Bitch, I wish it was like bigger. I could just mute you. Well, you guys still listen to my fat ass talk, but you couldn't say nothing. But at the same time, you're scary, bitch. Come on your page and say it. And I'll come live and explain it to myself. Tell them it's my face, you faggot. We'll talk about the past history. This shit has happened months ago. This is the history. Ain't nobody worried about them bitches. I really talk about me, bitch. I'm talking about Sip Nation, what the fuck we went through. The fuck? Stupid ass folks. I ain't blocking a step in here. Listen, bitch, you need to know. You obviously don't know. I stay worried about them all day. Man, fuck you. Nothing best. Ain't nothing happened. Nothing at all. The girl's just trying to get some a little sexual program. Like another one. Use the bounce. Oh girl, I just wish I wish this was like that other app girl. Alright. So my Kel tell me the story. I said, well, let me interview you about it. And let's see. And so, this is what I did. She told me her side of the story, right? She told me her side of the story, Michael, which is uh, Buffett, which is Lil Jane's mother. And she told me her side of the story, and I understood her side of the story. I understood her side of the story. She come from a small town in Louisiana, Lake Charles. Um... It's not really trendy. It's not really a hip town. Um, and she's blessed. God bless her with a son who is immensely talented. Immensely talented. Immensely talented. God bless her with the son. 
And so you want the best for your son. God gave him a gift. You feel me? And so any parent that sees the gift, Lil James is an old soul and a young and a young boy body. <laughs> he's beloved and, and very funny. Um, he, he he's gonna bring a laugh out of you, regardless. And so as a parent from a small town who is struggling, we have other kids, we have bills, we have responsibilities, who's struggling. But you see the light inside your son. You see what he enjoyed doing. He enjoyed it. He having fun with this. He loved the meat and Snoop Dogg and all, all these different people. He loved this. And so you definitely want to put him in the best position to be able to succeed in life or do whatever he wanted to do. So I understood that. I got that. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people like to blame this woman. But as a, as a woman who may be from a small town, and I'm struggling. I got to go to work every day because I got other uh, these kids to take care of. You know, everybody like him, but they don't get no you don't get no money from Instagram like that. You might do promo and start making a couple of dollars, but to bring this this young man to the next level, you're gonna need the assistance of somebody else. So you gotta understand that mechanic. I don't think she did nothing wrong because she sought help from somebody who she felt was genuinely looking out for the best interest of her son. Y'all get that? What I'm saying? Who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like this woman come and tell you, listen. This woman come and tell you, baby, come on, you got you can quit your job. I got you. I'm gonna put you in the house. I'm gonna do all this for you. And we're gonna and we're gonna make him, we're gonna give little James everything he needs. Let's record this right quick. I'm a crying. That's okay with you. I'm just going to fake crying. And we're going to give him James all he needs. And so you see this woman, and she gives you the appearance that she's God-fearing. She's down for black people. She's nice. She will help you out. She gives that appearance. She come off like that. She had a, she had a million and some people fool. She have a billion and some people fool. And so this woman feel like, okay, they got these people over here, they got these people over here, these people in my ear, whatever, whatever. I see this woman, she praying through the process and this, that, and the other. You know what? I'm going to trust her. Shake and fuck about how some of those people is really looking out for Jay. He's like, what? Who? I don't even know who the fuck you're talking about. I'm not talking about none of those people. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, some of you know. This person got to because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know the people. You don't. Girl. Yeah. So, what happened? I had this shit to go to So, so when the girl came to, when, when my cat came to the story, I, I just was like, wait, what? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So I started doing my research. I started looking up different things and finding stuff. And what I was finding was just bewildering to me. I'm like, oh my God, really? <sighs> this can't be real. And so then I came across the colliding parents. I came across the colliding parents. And so those stories are up on YouTube too. Those stories are up on you soon. Too. The parents, man, they let me meet their children. This is what this is what this is what this would change my view of life right here. They let me meet their children, they let me talk to their children, and they let me hear their children. And that 
tugged at my heart and my soul, not only as a parent, but as a man, or how somebody could make children feel like this. How on earth could a woman make a child feel like this? Where do you get the right that you can use children's innocence? I got a YouTube video about that. Go look it up on YouTube. If you look up for Shay, something about Shay, she can sue too. So if you need to go look up something about Shay, do a YouTube video about it. Girl. That tugged at my heart, my soul. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I got real, real involved with the story. Um, when it first came to me, I literally hit her up in the DM. I said, ma'am, she wanna respond to the story. She left it unread, so I unfit. I don't know if she got it. I don't care you the fuck her. It's like this you know, this do you wanna respond to them? Uh I said I'm gonna go out. I said something to the effect of uh, I'm gonna go with the story on yada yada date, yada yada time and Yada yada, whatever. Do you want to respond to the story? Listen to the chat. That's Ross' daddy. That's Ross, Ross Harmony. That's her daddy. That one there. Mac hurt me too. Oh, child. Listen to Mac's story. Listen all of them. Dylan, Ross, Sian, all of them. All their stories. Oh, my goodness. That's all their stories. All these stories, all of them, they took it my heart, girl. I'm not gonna lie to you. And that's how I got real invested in this in that in that story. And so I did hit up and ask her if she wanna to respond to it before I run with the story. She 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 she, 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 she left it unread. It never was read. It never showed me read. So I unfit No shade. So um I ran with the story. I ran. I had the people they 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 said they they said they're they said they, this is and that, and this whatever, whatever. Now, this is what I didn't understand. After all that bad press, I would have just been like, girl, let me make a little chance out this contract before this shit, before this shit turned crazy and everybody starts seeing it. So then, um, but she did. In fact, she sent them a letter saying they're not supposed to be talking to me per their contract. <laughs> and so, uh, that's what happened. So it just went on from there, back and forth, back and forth. Y'all go see that's all on YouTube. Y'all go see that. Back and forth, back and forth with Judy. Back, not really back and forth with Judy, but this is how it all went. This is where it went down. In my scope of looking at this woman and why she is um, doing what she's doing, something kind of kept coming across. Like one of the parents, like, yeah, we went to this thing. Uh, as a thing, but we had to pay our own way to get that back. All she bought was, 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 was some hot dogs. And she was like, the brat was there. And then it's like, oh, we went to the zoo. But the brat was there. I'm like, what's the brat doing there? The fuck is the connection between you and the brat? You know, so I, as I'm listening to the stories, I'm interviewing the people, I'm putting two in the two together, I'm trying to see how, why this is happening, where they come from. You know, I'm doing all this here, trying to figure all that out. But somebody just kept popping up. The brand. The brand was here. They signed a contract with the brand. The brand on the video. The brand over here, the brand over there. Why is the brand here? What is the connection? And so um, I posted. So listen, this is what I do sometimes. Real talk, I do this sometimes. If something ain't making sense, but I have a good estimation of what's about that, what could be happening, and okay, so I know Judy is a dyke from Dion Book and Rose, of course. So we know how much of a dyke she is. I'm pretty sure that Brad is a dyke, even though she never came out the closet. But that's also been speculation to the industry. And I said, well, what two, two dykes? Like, Judy is not an entertainer. Judy doesn't rap. Judy don't make songs, none of that shit. Not for real. And the Brad don't use, don't, Brad don't have no edges. What the fuck? 
what is the connection here? Why is she always there? And so I speculated that them hoes went together. I, I did. So I did not at first have corroborative proof. What I say, if I post it, I'm going to get it. Either they're going to prove me right or they're going to prove me wrong by what they do. And so I put together, I posted, this was my first post about them bitches. I posted the evidence that I had about them at the, what you call them? The snippet from where they say Brett and Judah was together here and here and here and here. By me posting that, it was the, it kind of went a little viral. That's the one that, that's not the one that got, that was the, that one got reposted to a couple of blogs, but not that many. And so, um, that's when the, the floodgates open, basically. This is how I pull this bitch out the closet. This is how I pull a bitch, <laughs> Shante Harris. This is how I got that hope. Come here, bitch. Come out the closet, bitch. You've been in the closet too fucking long. Because guess who the fuck contacted me? Her real, her girlfriend. Her, I, I say real girlfriend because Child, that's fake is all I'm doing. Judy wants to be on TV so she can stop paying for promotion and be somebody famous or fuck herself. And the brat just needed somebody to help her funnel that motherfucking money away from the people that she got to pull to that bankruptcy shit. So at the same time, that's what happened. Don't, don't, that, that, that shit is fake and it's going to crash and burn so fucking easy. That shit is so fake and it's going to crash and burn. But now, people's like, why you mess with the brat? Why you mess with the brat? What the brat did? Well, Jab Entertainment, Judah and Brett Entertainment, is an entertainment company out of Chicago where the Brett also put Lil James in a contract to where if Lil James make a dollar, he owed them all together 75 cents. <laughs> if Lil James make one dollar, one dollar, if he make one dollar, he'll owe them 75 cents. And Brett had Brett sign it too. So that's why the brat get into it too, because you fucking over these little kids. You put this kid in a save contract, and then you use this little kid to recruit other little kids to peddle your products and don't pay them a fair wage. Buy them some fucking hot dogs. The fuck? They got to promote. Oh, I use this. I use acid drops. Oh, James drops make my hair so soft. But you, and you buy them some fucking hot dogs. So brat, you get it too. And fuck the brat, cause the bitch end up suing him anyway. <laughs> All right. So. so so I'm like, bitch, come out the closet, girl. But the Brett real girlfriend and Lord Hammers, I swear I want to tell y'all who this girl is. But I love her. She's such a wonderful person. And she and she asked me to not reveal her identity. And legally speaking, I don't want to get her in legal trouble because she also got sued because she gave me the Brett new. And Brett compromised the permission. You remember I was posting that stuff with the Brett ass tooted up and stuff like that? Girl, yeah. So she contacted me and told me the whole story because she was hurt that she was really about to come out. She has, oh, listen. This girl, she's famous herself. But she's really, her, her, her claim to fame, she's famous herself. I'm not taking that thought. She's a beautiful lady. But her claim to fame, um, is that her cousin is known in all, everywhere from Afghanistan to Australia, her first cousin. And so, bitch, it's really a big, this girl's a big pick. Her, like, she's one step from the person. Trust the plus. So, she gave me the confirmation that I needed. So then, I don't care what a bitch tell you. Yes. And New York from here, pissed that you put her in that. Who? Oh, she was there too because she's one of Brad's ex-girlfriends too. I got proof of that. Because there's even a white girl that Brad was messing with with dogs. I got proof of that too. I just ain't supposed half of that. I'm trying to wait till this lawsuit get over with and the bitch all the way over with so I can add them holes out for real. Okay. I'm an editor, so, so she could be pissed off she won't. But, bitch, I got, you can't, listen, you can't get mad at people for exposing the truth. You get mad, but it's nothing you can do. It's the truth. You might not like it, but it's the truth. Bitch, take your lick. You're a dyke, you're a dyke. Or you like, you was fucking with the brat, you were fucking with the brat. The fuck? It's no see. The fuck? It is what it is. She didn't want nobody to know. All right. So. Huh. 
cooker. Y'all know it's coming. So yeah, I got sued. But I can't really sell news because it's against love. That's part of the thing. That was in the thing. I can't do that. It becomes illegal. I'll be a contempt of court. I go to jail. So the the, the 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 person of the news was sent to, who is the girl I can't tell y'all about, and I won't because I protect my sources. And so she um she gave me a lot of the information I need. So my girl still high alert, bitch. My girl still high alert. My sippers, bitch, them, they still high alert. One thing about it, two things for sure. Sippers don't sleep, bitch. We don't get tired. We ain't got time for that. We'll sleep tomorrow. We ain't got time for that. Slippers still high alert. Okay? So, bitch, so what happened was, Judy had the audacity to bring the bread to New Orleans. Girl, this is my city, girl. You all better stay in Atlanta with that shit where I ain't can't find out about it. I ain't had no connection in Atlanta like I got now. Or I ain't had no, but bitch, in New Orleans, bitch, don't you know what I've been doing with the city for these past two years, bitch? <laughs> Bitch, I've been finding out everybody information. Bitch, I got people work at the airport. I got people work at the, the courthouse. Bitch, I got people work at the assessor's office. Bitch, I got people that be on the girl everywhere. One thing about it, two things with Mammy motherfucking show, bitch. You could you should have took her to Alaska somewhere, bitch. You should have gone to New Orleans. Bitch, you knew I was gonna buy. You should, bitch, you know I was gonna get that. The only thing I can see is you just must more than me, man. That's the only thing I can see. So, the the picture, the first picture was them at the um, at the uh, at the uh parade. Now this one made me pissed off with feet. Guys of the city, she took that report and didn't give me credit. But I didn't know I was a watermark on my stuff. Then. My bad. I ain't that thing. My apologies. I, that was my fuck up. Not really her fuck up. She was supposed to take it because I ain't watermark it. So, but that got reposted to Boston, the neighborhood talk. Um, and a few other things. Then, them at the airport. <laughs> that got reposted to the shade room. And bitch, that's when it shit got real. This shit got real, that bitch. Like, Google people, like, all my all my cousins and stuff, everybody was calling to me. Like, bitch, girl, you're very nice. You got to man, see you, blah, 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 blah. Like, girl. So, um, they was at the beach. They got reposted a lot. Uh, something like that. <laughs> like, the most couldn't breathe. So what a part was this. They came out the closet. Now, keep in mind, they did it like they wanted to do it. Bitch, we've been posting this, bitch. You ain't want to come out the closet, hoe. You was happy being your funk ass up in them closet with them, with them, no, with them other edges you got, bitch. Two drops, no top heavy, hoe. So, huh. Yeah, girl, yeah, girl. I, and that hoe pissed me off, girl. Give me my fucking credit, bitch. I ain't talking about you reposting it. But every other site in the world, boss up and all these big old sites, they're reposting it. Put my like give me my motherfucking credit, bitch. And so, bitch, bitch, that come back to Tip Nation, bitch. We bought an album. And so anyway, don't throw a shot. No, I put that bitch. I put I took Brett by the motherfucking Duke Bridge she always fucking wear and drug out the closet. She didn't want to come out because they was fighting it the whole time. They were sending sister cease letters and all that shit like that. And bitch, I was sitting back with leave me alone, bitch, get out of my face. Bitch was trying to get the YouTube deleted, bitch. They were sending all kind of stuff. Then <laughs> So anyway, the history of nation. So that's what happened. And that got her more grown and more known. And so Sip Nation. Um, I forgot to mention, we started doing prison stories right before that shit was super happened. Um, and that was what that was. So they kind of uh, met up with each other. Because right after prison stories, then the shit was super happy. So it was like, we had stuff then. And then, um, I'm just telling y'all one story from the next about what was like the big shit we was talking about. Um, and, and then it's just like, from there, it's like, where we go now? Or what do we do now? And so, um, and that's what we have now. That's what Sim Nation talks about. Like, so we have a kind of it. I talked about why we don't talk about kids. I talked about because it, it was a big thing with uh, twin them, and that's like some, a place we didn't want to go, talking negatively about someone's kids. Um, the two drops, no top girl, she kidding me because just because she's stupid. Uh, I told y'all why I don't talk about stupid no more. I told y'all what happened with Buck. You know, that's the kind of like the history of Stimulation. And so this was the thing about Stimulation. We, we just had a, a place where you could go and you could 
kind of basically speak your mind. Of course, you can't say about nothing about them on somebody else's page, on your page, on their page. But this is a place where you can go and say and have your opinion. If you have an opinion, that's cool. You can say what you want. But if you have an opinion about me or opinion about Scamation, you have to come to the live and say that. Uh, burn pages, you don't say nothing. You called me yesterday to come get your girl. I'm on my way back to the what you call me. My bad. Yesterday, it was too cold. I went outside one time. <laughs> I went outside one time. <laughs> this is a snowman, girl. Not the snowman. <laughs> girl, fuck me, girl. So, yeah, it's like, um, the children probably still got this morning. So, yeah, we had some fun. We shared some tears, bitch. We had some setbacks. We had some hurdles. But it's up from here. You heard me? Step Nation, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to work on. We all Beagle right now a lot. We all Beagle a lot. We love us some Beagle, bitch. Uh, hey, girl, it says them coins, girl. That Beagle chick hit, girl. I was pussy popping in the handstand, bitch. Uh, and we're on Beagle now. Beagle live out there. see Shake Live. We're not over there. Um, and we go live a lot over there. Um, and we do stuff. And, you know, in, in between that, too, we help with people. Some people started some businesses. Um, we've helped people get stuff. We've done homeless drive. We've done kid toys giveaway. Um, we have done stuff. The children uh, that, that Judy messed over uh, all have a special place in my heart. I met all of them except, um, who did I not meet out of those? I met Ross. I met Dylan. I didn't meet Mac. What did I meet Mac? I didn't meet Mac. I didn't meet Mac. I'm trying to think that I meet CA. I feel like I did. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I feel like I meet you. What's your name on Big Room? Uh, it's just shaking with a teacup. It's shaking with a teacup emoji, but it's, if you type in MC Shaking Live, it'll come up. That's because that's my BYU ID. Right. No, I did. I met I met some. Why do I feel like I met them, though? In my mind, I met them. In my, why do I feel that? Whatever happens to the stock idea. The stock idea for still cosmetics and stuff and girl y'all would have been eating too right about now too girl because we made a nice little killing over black friday girl if i'd have had them sip cosmetic stock girl y'all y'all be getting a little dividend check girl next quarter because y'all be getting a little dividend check in january we helped them you turned our investment up 10 front 10 front so you would about so for every dollar you invested bitch you would have a dividend of i got four. It's 10 grand, but you go about 2.5 grand. Yeah, you got a dividend of 25 percent. You talk about that, okay? You was lit yesterday morning while I was giving this. Yep. You know. So you'd have been a uh, you'd have been a quarter for every dollar you invested. Not that as much. I wasn't gonna take no more investments other than ten dollars. But okay, thank you. She had a she had a show opportunity. That bitch turned down because she they told her she had to work with either me or both or both of them. They wanted me and Ambos to be on the show. She said she would with neither one. She had a show on the table. They wanted the show, the producers of the show wanted an antagonist for her. Somebody kind of like against her. And who naturally was against her, they didn't want to make up something. They want to film somebody, who, the people that's against her. So to, for her to get a show, she had to do it with either me or Buck. She told him no, fuck that. She wouldn't do it with me or Buck, neither one. Tell me, I sure would have been. Why the fuck I would have been? But they don't realize those don't work. The only thing that sells on reality TV is drama. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be bullshit. Them, and see, that's why I stopped fucking with them hoes like that because I realized them hoes use me every time they start picking with me or like you super think she's slick, bitch. There'll be some exclusive tea come across my desk from a bird page, right? So I know it be her. I know it be her. I know it mouth ain't nothing in my ain't nothing in my soul can tell me it's not her. Ain't nothing in my soul can tell me it's not her. 
so she wanted me to talk about it so she could get our stuff up and may have us sell and sell our products. We're not doing that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, but it's gonna be dumb. Nobody wants to see that. That fake ass drama girl. Yeah, they was using me her. What? They not using me the She did right like she regular. Everybody watch that shit. Yeah, girl, I kept this girl really for months strong. No deal, though. Do it in the morning. Go ahead and live your best, sister. Shake ain't got nothing to do with it. Like Just a real dice if you want. <laughs> girl. Nobody talk about that. I make it so entertaining to where they want us to other places want to talk about it. I make it so entertaining that other people want to talk about it. Never no more. Mm -hmm. Sip Nation will not be. Y'all got to cut Sip Nation a check. Period. If you want Sip Nation to talk about you or beef with you, you have to pay that price. We're talking about you when we feel like it, we got nothing else to do. But Rich, if you want Sip Nation to talk about you, you have to pay that price. That's what it is. We're not doing that. It is what it is. We'll be doing our own little thing, doing our little house mixes, they call it the fucking thing. Which I thought like this bitch. We're not doing it anymore. It is what it is. So I heard her make sick pictures of her man. Girl. She gonna be back. She gonna be back, girl. Like, y'all know she's coming back. But anyway, so that was kinda like the history of nation. We are here now. The future is number up, 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 up in the way. Up, up, up in the way. Let me go ahead and finish driving on my way back home. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to try to go a big one a little later. Hopefully, you know, they get me out this motherfucking, uh, what do you call this shit? But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, so there you have it. So about the President Simmons, President Simmons. Which I got elected for a second term, girl. Fuck Donald Trump, bitch. I got elected for a second term. Therefore, uh, yeah, that was the history. And I'll see y'all. If y'all missed it, don't trip. I'm going to put it on YouTube later. I love y'all. Uh, and we'll talk about it. Thank you. It's my body, baby.